right, friends, so now we're going to talk about phase two of the Harry the Hamster project. And what this one is, and you'll see up on our board it says chart and packet. And so this is the packet we're talking about, our Harry the Hamster dream house packet. And the chart is actually located on the second page at the bottom. This is what we need to work on completing. There is one part of this chart that carries over to the back of this next page. Okay, so we gotta make sure that we do that one as well. So we have the six required rooms, and those are the only rooms that you have to complete the chart for and do what I'm gonna share with you how to do. You don't need to worry about doing them for your bowling alleys and all of your other things that you've added in, okay? So if I have this part up here, and let's say that I'm looking at doing this for my bedroom, okay? So the first one says the length, and then the second one says the width, okay? Where it says that, this is gonna be our length, and this is gonna be our width. So I'm gonna write eight for the first column, and I'm gonna do four for the second column, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and write those in. Okay, and that's all I need to do then for that part. Now the next part says, what is the perimeter? When you hear the word perimeter, you need to think of the word plus, because perimeter plus both start with the letter P. So what this means is we're gonna add all four sides together to see what the distance is all the way around our bedroom. So if I take a look, if my bedroom is four by eight by four by eight, adding those four sides. So let me draw what those numbers look like on the outside so you can see it, okay? So I have a rectangle, so we know opposite sides are equal. So two fours and two eights. So for perimeter plus, I need to add those numbers together. So I'm gonna do eight plus eight, which is 16, plus four is 20, plus four more is 24. So you need to add the four sides together for whatever your shape is. So there's my 24 because I did my plusing, okay, over here. Now I need to find the area. The area is the square feet with inside of the rectangle. I can do this one of two ways. I can count how many squares there are inside or I can multiply four times eight. Both will give me the same number. I know that four times eight is 32. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply them, but I could count them just to double check. So that's one row of my chart done, one down, five to go. Let's say that I wanted to do next my bathroom. My bathroom is three by five. So on my bathroom, the first step of the chart's really easy. I just write down what the measurements are, three by five. Now perimeter, remember, means plus. So I need to add all four of those sides together. I'm gonna write the outside numbers for you. You don't have to do this step, I'm just doing it for you to show you what it looks like. So now I need to add five plus three plus five plus three. I like to do groups of 10 first. So I'm gonna do five plus five is 10. And then I know three plus three is six. So I have 10 plus three is 13 plus three more, 16 for my perimeter. Perimeter plus distance around. Okay, so I'm almost done with that part. My last step is area, which is square feet. And these are my square feet inside, so I can count them. Or if I know three times five, I can't multiply. And I know that three times five is 15. So I've already done now two of the six that I need to do. So now I just need to do this for the other rooms that are required. And remember the required rooms are the living room, exercise room, bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, and office. So once you do those six, you're done with phase two and you're ready to move on to phase three.